Hey guys, um, look over me today. I have a cold. Well, I made chili yesterday, which you'll probably see in the video before this, and we had leftovers. So my husband said, well, take them and make us some enchiladas. And I thought, well, I'll do that for supper tonight. And then if there's any left after that, I'm going to make some burritos and put them in the freezer. So if you're interested in that, stay along with me and you'll see how I do this. So I'm going to take a slotted spoon because I really don't want to use a lot of the juice that's left in it. I want mainly just the beans and the pork. And we're just going to layer it on our tortilla. I would have used six inch, but 10 is all I've got in the house other than the small taco shells. So we're just going to use these. I'm going to go ahead and spray my pan just so we don't stick. I have some red enchilada sauce. I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom. Or just a little in the bottom. About half, not quite half. And we'll just spread that out. So we'll have a base. Alright. Then I'm going to put just a little bit of cheddar cheese inside. I'm going to put some on top when I bake it, so I'm not going to put a whole lot. And then we're going to just try to roll these up the best we can. And we'll put our seam side down. We're going to have to tuck it because these are a little long. Let's do another one. And actually, I think I'm going to do them this way because I'm just going to do four since these are bigger shells. And that's enough for us for a meal. So we'll just do it like this. I'm going to do two more, guys, and then I'll bring you right back. All right, we've got all four of those done. I'm going to pour the rest of our sauce over top of our tortillas. spread some of this over. And then I'm going to top it with some cheese. And guys, I'm going to put this in the fridge till we get ready to bake it for supper tonight. And I'll bring you back when I bake it. Alright, let's make us a burrito. We'll put our spoonful on the lower half here. Add a little cheese. All right, we're going to kind of fold in here, roll up, fold in more, and we're going to keep rolling. Oh, and it tore, but that's okay. We'll wrap it in our, they've cooled back off a little bit from where I had them warmed up. We're going to wrap it tight with our plastic wrap. And then I'm just gonna stick it in a Ziploc bag. And then when we want one, we'll just um, pull them out, heat them up in the oven or the microwave, and we'll be good to go. 
Let's roll one more. perfect all right let me get it wrapped and i'm gonna keep doing this guys till i finish and then i'll bring you back okay guys i ended up with nine burritos i still got enough for somebody another bowl of chili um which i may take to work tomorrow my husband took a bowl today and then we ate supper last night and we've got the enchilada so don't throw out stuff that you can repurpose or if you want to just eat it as chili you can but this makes it into a different meal and this gives us easy meals when i'm working as a nurse 12 hours something my husband can pull out and heat up and we've got a good meal that we both like <clears throat> just add some salsa and some sour cream and we're good to go and hey guys just cut them out of the oven they cooked for probably about 30 40 minutes just let your cheese melt and I'll plate some up here in a minute. I'm going to let them sit for about 5 or 10 minutes just to settle up. Okay, guys. This is the final plating. I kind of cut the side of one of them when I was getting it out. But I've topped it with this Creamy Salsa Verde by Old El Paso. I really like this. I got it on the sale. Some original Cholula hot sauce. And I used all of that bottle, so I opened the Chipotle. So, let's give it a bite. I know it's still going to be hot. Oh my goodness, it's even better like this in the enchiladas than just the chili itself. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. Try something different once in a while and reuse something you've made, but make it into something else. That makes it more economical and you get something different. And you don't have to eat the same thing for three or four days in a row. See you later, guys.